Going to Prince William County, where police are searching for a man accused of attempting to abduct and inappropriately touch two 12 year old girls. Melody's out in Triangle, Virginia, with a closer look at what happened there. Mel? Stephen, you know, one of the things that is just occurring to me as we're standing out here on Grand Park Road is how much traffic is going by. Uh, and the first assault happened around 7.55. So about 50 minutes from now when people are up and out and on their way to work and, and the suspect really just didn't seem to be bothered at all by the fact that it's perfectly bright out. The sidewalk is wide and, and could have been spotted by anybody. Uh, let's show you pictures of the suspect here that Prince William County Police were able to get. It looks perhaps like by a ring camera, but they haven't told us specifically. And the suspect appears to be walking in a neighborhood. Now, police say he's described as an Hispanic male, 20 to 30 years old, five feet, six inches tall with brown eyes and a beard. And as you can see in the picture, uh, they say he was wearing a light brown hooded jacket, gray sweatpants and black shoes. Now, the first victim told SVU detectives that she was walking to her middle school at 755 in the morning. When the man started following her, he grabbed her, held her tight and touched her. She yelled and tried to get away. Finally, she broke free, ran to school, and told the school resource officer what happened. And it was during that investigation that police learned of the second assault that same morning. Same, similar circumstances, although in this one, the man just uh, walked up behind the girl and inappropriately touched her. He did not try to grab her or hold her. And fortunately here, a motorist then saw the girl yelling and running and stopped to help, giving her a ride home where her family called police. As she told police that the suspect ran back here toward Jin Memorial Park here uh, off of Graham Park Road. And uh, police also tell us that he didn't speak to either victim. Now what they're doing is they're asking people to please take a look at those photos. We'll have them on our website too, fox5dc.com and on our Fox 5 DC app. You can take a look at those photos. And if you recognize this man, if you've seen him anywhere in the area, please give Prince William County Police a call. All right, Mel, thank you.